We're facing the worst pandemic in living memory. And as soon as things got tough, Mitch McConnell did what all great leaders do. He ran away, split in town to hang out with his pal, Brett Kavanaugh. While he was having cocktails with Brett, I called on Mitch to pass an emergency universal basic income and to stop blocking the House from helping Kentuckians survive this pandemic. The Speaker and House Democrats instead chose to produce an ideological wish list. Then, on the morning of Tuesday, March 17th, our campaign released an ad giving him the nickname he deserves, Corona Mitch. The ad took off. The Courier Journal called it blistering and the toughest ad of the 2020 cycle. It even provoked a flustered response from Mitch McConnell's former campaign manager. Why? Because I told the truth. We told the truth about Mitch McConnell choosing his own political power over protecting our people. We told the truth about him letting Trump cut CDC funding, endangering Americans. We told the truth about him delaying a bill that would save working people during this pandemic. Less than five hours later, Mitch McConnell scurried back into the Capitol and reversed his position. Now he said he would support an emergency universal basic income stimulus. In particular, we're examining policy tools to put money directly and quickly into the hands of American families. We know he's not supporting these ideas because he suddenly grew a heart. He's worried about losing his seat. He's worried about losing to me. The fear of people losing their lives was not enough to get Mitch to do the right thing. Only the fear of losing his reelection, the fear that we instilled in him, got him to finally do the right thing by the American people. If Corona Mitch needs to be scared like this to finally do his job, then I'll keep him scared for the next eight months, and then we'll win. <laughs> and then we'll make America a wonderful place for beautiful children like this, and they won't have to stay home from school ever.